Hey y'all, it's Ashley. So today I have a 12 by 12 layout and I'm using a picture from Disney World when I was younger and I just printed it on an HP photo printer that I have or reprinted it. It was scanned and then I reprinted it. Um, I'm using some 8x8 um, Heidi Swap resist paper and I used Primrose and Sweet Cherry and I'm going to go ahead and wipe that off then I'm going to come back in with some water. Um, one thing about, um, or she actually used Windex on her um, channel, but I use water and it works just fine. Um, so I am going to adhere that to the paper and it actually came out with a little bit of an ombre look and that was not intentional at all, but it, it turned out cute. Um, I'm using mostly Dear Lizzie Lucky Charm paper and I had a little bit of a hard time with this um, layout just because I didn't have much of a plan and uh, I didn't find a whole lot that went with this paper as far as my embellishments besides just the Lucky Charm embellishments that I have. And so um, I think that was part of the problem was just I was looking, looking for stuff. And part of the problem, the other part of the problem is probably the fact that my craft room is a complete mess. So that helps when you have a lot of things organized because then you know what you can use. But I'm just kind of getting the placement right on things. And I've, I cut that vellum into a banner shape. And then I um, also cut a few papers from her line um, in banner shape as well and I'm just layering those and then I think that I'm going to use this as my journaling card but I actually don't end up using that little bottom right hand card. Um, this is a bow that I just made from um, tool, and I just uh, cut like a rectangle, scrunched it in the middle and tied a little piece of red tool around it and then it turned out pretty cute and that's normally what I do when I make bows. I'm adding some Recollections washi tape and um, actually two kinds and then I'll go to the corner and I'm actually not going to add clusters in the corner this time since there's so much going on in the middle and there's such a big um, center like focus I don't do anything in the corners this time um, I think about it and you'll see me kind of uh, almost put something there but I don't end up doing that the picture that I'm using is from when I was in Disney World and we were at breakfast um, with the characters and I know that they still have that because I've heard people talk about that. But I've been to, I've been to Disney World twice, and this was when I was younger. I went back when I was 14, and we just cracked up at this picture because Minnie Mouse is actually stepping on my toe. And if you see my face, um, if you focus on my face, um, you'll see that I'm making a face where I'm like, "Ow!" And that's so me being dramatic about something like that. And it's just funny every time I look at that picture. I think how you know, most little girls look real cute when they're posing with Minnie Mouse, and then here's me um, with my with my crazy face going on. So anyway, I wanted to document that, and um, I thought this would be the perfect layout for that. Um, I try to adhere this bow down. It doesn't work. I then try to, I use, try to use a brad to stick in there. That didn't work to stick through the paper. Um, and then I end up taking that brad out and I even turn off my camera for a second because it just becomes so annoying and it, I can't stand that it's moving around. But what I end up doing is replacing, I pull it all up and then I pull the vellum up that I try to adhere it to. Um, and then I replace it with another piece of vellum and then I use a, my tape runner and that actually worked to stick the tool to. So there you go. I took the brad out. It looks much better that way, I think. I'm using some glitter white thickers in their chipboard to spell out mini, and then I'll use some foam um, glitter pink thickers to spell out mouse. And those are, I believe, these are just some of the American Crafts um, thickers, but the ones that I use here in a second, those are Dear Lizzie, I believe, and you'll see those coming up. I start to journal on this little sheet right here, and then I totally misspell something which is probably like an easy word. I just don't know what I was thinking and realize, and then here's where I'll stop here in a second and I'll realize what, what in the world did I do. So I'll um, end up writing on the page, which I actually liked much better. Um, and I just write how we were posing with Minnie and she totally stepped on my toe during the picture and it's a perfect moment. And then I'll go ahead and pull my ruler to draw some lines to define those, uh, to define that sentence. Um, and here's where those other thickers come in. And I'm really, really, really bad about keeping my thickers in their packages. I don't know what it is. And then I lose, and then I lose the packaging or it goes, or I actually throw it away one way or the other. And I don't ever remember 
what, what exactly they're called. So I'm really sorry. I'm going to be better about that, I promise. Um, but you can kind of tell, you know, what kind they are. I'm pulling from my snap collection here, and I'm going to try to adhere this smile down the um, bottom left-hand corner, but I don't end up using it because I don't think it goes well with the page at all. Um, I'll only add a few more things. I'll add some enamel dots. And um, I think that I add just a couple more embellishments after that. So you guys will see that as we go. And then here's some recollections wood veneers. And the quality, or like if you guys are wondering what the quality of these, of the wood veneers recollections are compared to Studio Calico, the wood veneer, I mean the recollections uh, brand is not near as good, but you guys probably could have guessed that. Um, but I, I mean, I still like them. I use them on a lot of layouts, so don't get me wrong. I like both, but, um, it's, they're real grainy and cheap and flaky, if that makes sense. But I took a distress marker, and I think that is worn lipstick, maybe? Yeah, worn lipstick and went over that wood veneer. And then I think that I'm going to use this Good Times at the time. I thought I was going to use it, but I ended up not using it. I also put a Prima wood veneer down at the bottom, or a button, Prima button, and then I added that My Mind's Eye um, flower. And then I'm adding some words here, and it just says, really, thanks, um, just because of Minnie stepping on my toe. But that completes the layout. Thank you guys so much, and have a great week. And